Hey y'all, what's going on? Now I am not on camera for reasons of I want to show y'all this story. Um, and I do have two videos that I actually am editing. If y'all can y'all believe I'm trying to edit. <laughs> Anywho, I'm not trying to laugh right now. I look. Let me put this down. And who oh Lord, y'all? Okay. Here we go. Cause this is a whole nother kind of. I don't have work, girl. You could have worn some drawers. I'm sorry, y'all. The Beverly Hill hose is on. So, um, if Juliet murder update and as you can see and y'all know by the title now suspects had sex on top of corpse so apparently here is what happened and y'all know I'm gonna put the link below so these four motherfucking fools right here let me let me get my curse over here these motherfucking depraved bastards um they apparently necrophiliacs or some shit like that. They like to have sex and be around dead bodies and shit like that. So they lured two young African-American men. Yes, I said it. And so they lured them in as if, you know, they were going to party or whatever. And these funky motherfuckers got them in there, robbed them and strangled them then commenced to having sex on their bodies. And then they were trying to get, you know, trying to dismember the bodies and things. And that's how they found the bodies in the house, just in, you know, a residential neighborhood. One of them was a tenant of the home. And then the other three were friends, you motherfuckers. Um, I, oh, y'all. Mm-mm. See, this is why I say, now, yeah, we watch shit. I, uh, I don't have a motherfucking scenario for them, y'all. Like, you know, my scenarios for what should be done while they're in jail. Because I'm just under the impression that they should just do everything to them. Fuck it. Do every, anything possible. Like, I, I can't. And, and let me clear this up and say that this is a heinous crime no matter what ethnicity or who, black, white, green, or yellow, you don't do that. You don't do it. And one of the ones who did it, his father is uh, a police officer. I do believe. I, I, uh, I just, oh, I don't know. I, I, I just, I, I, I don't know, y'all. This shit is, this shit is so fucked up. Are these motherfuckers just dreaming up shit to do? When do you know that you motherfucking enjoy being on top of a dead body? Like, what the fuck kind of feeling is that all a motherfucking sudden? You like, oh, you know what? I wish I had some dead flesh. What the fuck? How can you know that he want, you know, you want to be with... Y'all, I just can't. I, I I can't. And they said they believe drugs was involved. Of course, of course some motherfucking drugs. Maybe 2% of that shit, but just most of this is demonic devil ass shit. Like, this is some devil ass motherfucking shit. This is about like them teenagers who thought they was motherfucking vampires and shit. Like, I can't. And that's just like, you know, I, I told y'all about that one show, the following. I believe people look at shit and they try shit. And somebody left a comment below, I think, on my last video saying, you know, uh, you know, it was just a comment or something that they watch. And it was called The Cult or some shit. Hell no, nah, I can't do it. I looked at that shit and I thought I was feeling some kind of motherfucking way. Shit flashing and shit. And I, mm -mm. Uh-uh, no shade, boo-boo, but I ain't gonna be able to do that coat shit. Mm-mm. And this is what I mean. Motherfuckers be looking at this shit, and now they got all these newfangled-ass motherfucking drugs and shit that's make, which just really boils down to a motherfucking asset trip. 
I seen a video where a dude was at Target standing at the door. And motherfuckers think it's cute. Pop the molly and this and that and the other. Motherfucker, pop a book open. Get a degree. Do something with yourself. Like, I can't. Oh. Yeah, and I felt so bad for the, you know, um, the parents. Well, they showed two parents and... I'm assuming, I don't know if they were husband and wife together because they showed them separately. And you'll see that as you look at it. But the guy said nobody should lose their child to something as heinous as this. Nobody should have to lose their child at the hand of somebody any motherfucking way. These motherfuckers, they got them on a $10 million bond. Like, I just want them to put them in uh, regular population. You know, so that they can be handled. Like, what the fuck? Like, see, this case is one of those where I feel like, okay, yeah, you're supposed to do due process, but we clearly understand that they did this shit. Let's let's handle this shit right here. You know, I don't, I, mm -mm. ooh, I can't. And all motherfuckers ever want to talk about. You know, is what, you know, all you, you know, you hear about is like, you know, well, they talk about some of everything. But far as the, you know, media and this and that and other, they paint the picture of, you know, the African-American com community, not all of them, some of them, as they do the worst shit. Well, you know, it's this gang banging drugs, this and that and other. Well, motherfucker, how many of us is motherfucking laying on dead ass bodies? No shade, but I'm just saying but with that being said, the motherfucking lines have been blurred. Because I promise y'all, when the sniper shit went down, you when, when they showed who it was, it fucked me all the way around. You know, and I guess you, you shouldn't prejudge or whatever, and still at the end of the motherfucking day, all of this shit is depraved and just fucked up, and these young men are gone and damn near borderline had to deal with some damn near Emmett Till shit. Like, for real, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, strangled them, cutting, and, ooh, y'all, Jesus, Jesus. Uh-uh, because, see, the, I told y'all the rest of my motherfucking life would be, I couldn't. I don't give a fuck if I had to go to jail just so I could go in there with them. No, my whole life, the rest of my life would be me trying to fucking kill them for what they did to mine. I can't. And two wrongs don't make no motherfucking right. And I ain't saying I'm right in that. And I ain't trying to be the rightest motherfucking bitch on this side of creation. Shit, all I can ever be is me. You know, I'm just saying. I can't. I, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, I, you know, it's terrible. And then, I, I, you know, I don't care. It's not just, it's just any children or whatever, but just human beings in general. How do you make up in your motherfucking mind that you're going to do something to somebody like that? Right now, here, we got a case going on where it was a love triangle. It was a, excuse me, a gay love triangle. Apparently, they was on meth or whatever. Nice neighborhood, very nice neighborhood. And... They lured, you know, the two lovers. Now, there's two lovers, and apparently all three of them were sleeping together at some point. But two of them lived together. And this one they brought in, they didn't cut his motherfucking body up, dismembered him, put him in one of them blue plastic cases. And, you know, sat there with it under the house. They shot him, stabbed him, strangled him. And I do believe they had a little sex with him, you know, before and after. Dismembered him enough to put him in one of them sad my ten dollar boxes with the top on it. Sat in that motherfucker like they was doing, going in and out, doing their lives, you know, they shit like it all. Like, well, how, how was your day? Mom was fine. Did you get some extra spray? Because it's smelling kind of gamey in her, you know, with that body down there. Yeah, just light an incense. And bring me a sandwich. Fuck. And these fools right here, when they came, they was in there playing a the game. You know, PlayStation it up or whatever they playing. Which is another thing. I think a lot of these games and shit, but 
But with that being said, let me also say this because see, normal people, normal, will play a game and look at a show and it will not induce them to want to go and sleep with dead bodies, murder, rape, kill, or any of that. Normal human beings won't do that. They will look at it like we look at it. Oh, it's just a show. You know, or whatever. They won't think in their mind, you know, since I've seen this, I think I could do it. Yeah, I can, you know, I can do that shit. You know, because I've seen it on the show. You know, True Blood did it, so I'm going to give me some motherfucking fangs and shit. Like, no. Normal human beings don't do that kind of shit. And you want to be a motherfucking de- lay down with dead bodies, bitch. When do you start feeling like that's your motherfucking shit that gets you there? Yeah, I know. These motherfuckers then you lure these young men in, strangle them and shit, Jeff and have sex on shit. top of their body. Shit. shit, my fucking Jeffrey Dahmer, he ingested. Yeah, he, he I can't. I, and like I said again, sick motherfuckers is not normal human beings. This is just not normal. But I do say that I do think for some people who are already on the edge, are already sick to that point, the last motherfucking thing in the world they need is a fucking TV. I mean, you know, it might in- induce them into doing some shit. I either motherfucking think whatever's on the TV is killing them and you sitting next to them, they fucking killing you because they think you the motherfucking murderer in the movie. A bunny rabbit with razors or some shit. I told y'all, I don't play that motherfucker. Okay. I understand, you know, people, I understand that. And I have people in my family who have mental illness. Okay. But please understand me when I tell you that motherfucker, if you act any kind of motherfucking wrong, and I do mean any kind, (laughs) bitch, I am on you. Like, don't give me that shit because I know they can motherfucking kill you, run you down, and this and that and other, and don't do a motherfucking day. Uh-uh, don't, I bet you, I wish you would act a certain way. I'm serious, y'all, and that does include my own motherfucking family. So, shit. Mm-mm. I'm not, you know, get on your motherfucking meds and shit, you and whoever you see. You and uh, Helen or whoever the fuck. You and that bitch sit over and be motherfucking still because I will clean you and that motherfucking invisible ass imaginational bitch. I, I, y'all just, ooh, I just get motherfucking physically ill thinking about some of the shit that people do. Just physically ill. I can't. Like, Ooh, y'all, I don't know. The links below, I mean, it's a couple of stories I could talk about, but this shit just drains the motherfucking life out of me because I'm talking about it, but yet I'm still here talking about it. I'm still living and breathing, talking about it. But those were human beings that had to go through that pain and that str- in, ah, Oh, man. Mm-mm. I can't. I just... You know, I seen a video um, where somebody, um, it was a, what was it, a group of girls that jumped on another girl and, you know, and it's like other people around, but they're not trying to stop shit. If you see a motherfucking, a motherfucker's head wide open, like at some point, somebody Got the beat. Oh, this bitch is drinking again. Got the Beverly Hill hoes. I don't be watching it like that. Anywho. So, y'all, I just, this shit ticked me off. I will tell y'all that, um, oh, Lord. y'all, y'all got me together. I have just been all out of whack. I'm telling you. And today, my side hurts so bad, but finally, I did get the call, but I don't have no date or nothing, but. Um, I did get the call, but I have just been in some, I've been in some pain. Like I've been down this road 
And uh, I just been all out of sorts. And I'm thinking I'm going to talk about scandal today. And it ain't coming back for two. It's two or three weeks. So thank you to those who reminded me. Y'all always, you know, looking out for me. And I know I've been lacking on my shit. But, you know, I have. I have been lacking. And I don't mean to. You know, I still have my life and shit I'm doing. I'm not, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like this is some other shit I do. You know what I'm saying? On YouTube, I still have to, you know, do me and take care of what I have to. But, you know, I still have an obligation to y'all and uh, all of that. And somebody asked me, was I watching Black Ink? Hell no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. And Coat, mm-mm. I'm not going to be able to do that either. So, you know, and I will get back at myself. Oh, Lord, she drinking again, Jesus. She crying. So, um, I guess we'll get, I know this Sunday we'll talk about the holes and the whole ordeal going down with them going to visit NeNe and shit. And I'm just through with the motherfucking uh, Love and Hip Hop New York and now Erica. And um, I believe that was Joe Button's girlfriend. They was all motherfucking fighting and bra brawling. If y'all go over to the Much Love Facebook page, y'all see it, but y'all probably seen it by now. Yeah. But, Erica, I'm going to need you to sit your motherfucking gutter ass down because I done had it. I done tried to be easy with you, bitch, from time to time. Yeah. But, girl, mm -mm. and she came back at your motherfucking ass. You thought you was through talking about don't run in your motherfucking mouth, and she came and got your ass and drug your ass on the floor. You ain't the baddest, bitch. Whoever done it talking about fuck love and hip hop. Mm -hmm. I just need you to go back on the magazine or whatever the fuck you do. Sit down somewhere. How you going to sing like you had a nice song, you know, but then you going to scully butt yourself up. I, oh, I need her to get on motherfucking celebrity rehab and get off that powder. Yes, sir. Get off that motherfucking powder. Yes, you know, sit down some motherfucking way. Like, I can't. Tahiri, sit your ass down, bitch. That's not your motherfucking man. And here I am again talking about this shit. That is not your motherfucking man no more, no matter how you feel about him or whatever. You keep saying you over him or whatever, and y'all just friends, and he's pulling you back in. Bitch, you want to be there. Yeah. And to that bitch who looked like the precious... Joe Button's girlfriend, girl, sit down. Sit down. His loyalty is not with you. You motherfucking need to wise up. For real. So, y'all, I'm out. I don't even know why I added that in here, but it was on my mind. I'm going to put this shit below, and y'all, by all means, tell me. Well, it seems wrong to say, tell me what you think. Now, you know somebody going to be like, somebody's popping berries in the background, y'all. It's so ain't. Um, what I be doing. Baby. Y'all told y'all, y'all be like, why don't he get on? Y'all, he might get on her motherfucking guns and shit. Throw it. That's why. My Put Aston. Woo! He's gonna campaign and your ass gonna get elected. Baby, really? Okay, I'm done. Okay. Like, really, I can't. So... Y'all, if y'all know any more about this story, or if you live in the area, whatever, know a little something else about it, definitely, by all means, please pray for this family, you know, that the families of the uh, two young men, and um, I, I, okay, that's it, y'all, I'm, I'm gonna leave that below, I'm out of here, this motherfucking disgraceful shit.